Welcome to Toffee TV. It's the instant match reaction. Manchester United 4, Everton 0. Um, just awful, really. Just a, just just absolutely awful. Um, we started we started quite brightly in the game. Of course, you know, it, all the talk about one defeat and clean sheets and all this kind of thing. But today we showed exactly, I suppose, what everybody, any Evertonian... Um, Knew, knew what was going to happen, basically, or believed what was going to happen. Um, we were going to go there, we were going to do all right, then we were kind of going to concede, and then we were going to fall to bits. I imagine most Evertonians felt like it was going to happen the way it happened today. Um, and, you know, the players today were just a disgrace. They were just a disgrace. The whole back four, you know, Brantwaite, um for his mistake, Tarky, for his mistake, I thought Michalenko was pathetic. I thought Ashley Young was was garbage. Um uh the midfield, very open. Um we were just we were just garbage all over the pitch. And the players need to have a good you know, the last few weeks we've been mostly blaming, you know, the manager, but today the the players have to really have a look at themselves. I thought they were a, I thought once they scored that first goal. Um, which was awful, by the way, awful defending from a corner, leaving one of their best players unmarked on the edge of the box. Um, I know it took a, I know Brantwaite sort of took it away from Pickford, but just obviously leaving a man on his own like that was just absolutely terrible. Um, we were just, and then after that we just collapsed. As I said, Brantwaite gives the ball away for the second. They got a goal 30 seconds from our kickoff, 30 seconds after the half kicks off of the second half, where we've got the ball. Um, and then the fourth goal, Tarkowski looking like he couldn't give a monkeys. I thought Tarkowski was poor for the third goal as well. He just, reaction time was just fucking hell. Like he was running in treacle. It was absolutely appalling. <sighs> Manager, if you want to have a criticise him, um, there's no reaction to being 2 0 down, no making any subs at half time, no making any subs at 3 0 down. It took till we were, I think we were 4 0 down, I think, till we made mass subs and you had the likes of Patterson and Jake O'Brien come on. I mean, I was happy for Patterson. He showed you straight away coming on, putting a couple of crosses into the box. I mean, we could have done with that last week against against Brentford. Um, someone actually trying to get forward. I just think that I just think it's done. I've been saying for weeks it's done. I've been saying for ages you put better up front and not no change. Uh, he had a couple of a few nice moments at first, but a nil nil took the goal ball around the goalkeeper. Um, had a couple of like good runs and got himself into good areas. But it's the same problem all the time. The centre forward in our team, no matter what you think of them, Beto will probably is a little bit more alive than maybe Dom is. Dom just looks utterly pissed off. He obviously had the diving header when he when he came on, but. Nothing's going to change while this manager's in charge because I just don't understand what we're trying to do. I mean, we've lost two goals from our centre backs giving the ball away. I mean, you know, the Brantwe Brantwaite should do better, but when he's when the ball's laid back to him, it's like he's it's the centre forward's quicker and gets there. And the same with the same with Taki, you know, the full back gets the ball and then gives it to Taki, and it's exactly it's same goal, isn't it? Exactly the same goal. But what are we doing? Pissing around at the back, you know. We can't. We don't go long. We're trying to play around with it at the back. I don't understand what we're trying to do. I don't understand what our identity is. And after, after this much time as the manager, if you haven't installed that identity, it doesn't matter who you're playing. I watch worse. I watch teams who look like they've got worse players than us, but they have an identity. And now it's like 12, 13, whatever it is, games into the season. Those teams are starting to make just little strides. You know, Southampton the other night getting a point at Brighton and maybe they should have won it. You know, we're switching, you know, okay, still behind us, but they're all taking these little strides every week. Teams around us just look like they know what they're doing, at least. I haven't got a clue what we're doing as a team. I don't know what our identity is. I don't know what our style is. I don't know what we're trying to do. And, you know, today the players were... were I just, the way they threw the towel in, I thought was a disgrace. You know, I'm not going to hang that necessarily on the manager. I thought the players were a disgrace today. They couldn't wait to get off that pitch, you know, quick quick enough. You know, it was just felt like at our time the game was done. And, you know, the manager with his subs, um, you know, almost bought into that as well. Um, you know, just, just looking at the subs here, you know, bringing on 
obviously they got their they got their fourth on the 64th minute and then we made five subs Mangala, Harrison, Dom, Patterson and Jake O'Brien. I mean, that to me, the manager is just on the manager. The manager's lost the plot there, making five subs after you four nil down, almost treating it like an opera an operation to get players on the pitch and give them some time. Um it just he, I think he's I think he's done. I don't don't think anyone can really argue with me on that. There's no identity. No one seems to know what they're doing. The set pieces are dreadful. Even the free kicks where they cut out three free kicks in the same area and Lindstrom takes them all. You know, the players, as I said, were terrible today. But what are the what are we trying to do as a team? And I just don't think we can get past this anymore. I don't think we can hide from the fact anymore. Forget about your, oh, we've got to wait till a new owner comes in and all that. People at the football club have got to stop passing the book. They really have, whether it's the players onto the manager, whether it's the manager onto the, you know, what happened before he got here and not having any money. The owners, the owners just, oh, we can't make a decision. The Some people have got to genuinely hold their hands up and say, this has got to stop. Not the rallying calls, not the nonsense shit we always get when we get beat. Oh, we'll do better the next game. We're here, and it's our fault. Things, decisions need to be made. And I know the manager's made the decision today by putting better up front, but as I've said many times on this channel, changing the centre-forward for our team doesn't do anything. It will never do anything. It will never do anything. It's, you know, it's just, no, there's no point. You've got to change the team. You've got to put full backs on. You've got to put a right back on and a left back who are prepared to attack. And he won't. And it, you know, the full backs look, just were terrible today. They looked terrible from the start. If they were ever going to hurt us, it was going to come from those wide positions. And it did, you know, for the second and the third and the fourth goal. Michalenko is needs replacing, let's be honest. He looks looks he's not he's he, he's 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 a good defender or a decent defender but he's not a he's not a Premier League all round player and Ashley Young is you know he getting to he shouldn't be anywhere near Premier League pitch to be honest he shouldn't be Tarky looks like he's throwing the towel in f f fucking captain of our football club by the way doing the old you know got the old Ashley Williams uh, vibes from him today and yes listen Brantwaite made the stupid mistake and he'll learn from that, and he's done that before, you know, with Haaland, he'll learn from those mistakes, and it's just, it's sort of like the fact that he put the first one in, and he's made the mistake, you know, with not get with Man United after them all summer, people will highlight that, he's a young man, 18 months into his Premier League career, career playing week in and week out, and has hardly played this season, he will improve, and he will learn from that, but some of our senior players, my God, they are just... <sighs> It's embarrassing. And as I said, the manager... There's no point in me going on about the manager. The manager is done. That is done. This fella's got nothing more to offer this football club. He really hasn't. It's gone. You can see it with the players. It's gone. It's finished. Um, It's over. So, we have, to, we have to sort that situation out. ASAP. It's a big week. Wolves now, obviously, is a must win. And if we, if we lose on Wednesday with the Mayside derby, it'll almost be like the equivalent of the week when we won the Mayside derby, when everything became rosy. This week, it could be the opposite. Um, Everton, Everton will find themselves in the bottom three at some point this this month without a problem. Could be this week. Could be this week. But Wednesday night, the fans, Wednesday night, have to, uh, have to, you know, drive the team forward. They have to, you know, and then we, you know, we can say we've done our bit, but we, you know, these players, I watch some of them, the way they stroll around the pitch, thinking they're God's gift and the way people, some people talk about them. The players are poor, but they need some direction. They need a style of play that suits them. I don't know. Why, I don't understand why Sean Dyche hasn't gone full in on just playing that long ball and saying we're going to have what someone off Dom or someone off Beto or putting it in the corners. There's absolutely no identity and I, I have no idea. Today was just... The, my, what was worse is the first 30 minutes they were there for the taking and you can see why they struggled last week in Sipswich and they struggled the other night against Bodo Glint they were there for the taking and we just handed the, them the game on the plate they didn't even have to work for that victory and that's the most terrifying thing when you're going to go up against proper good teams in the next few weeks you know Liverpool Man United um, Arsenal and, and Chelsea proper good sides and if the work rate's not there to do your job, then we are in for an incredible tough time. Incredible tough time. And there's no point burying your head in the sand. There's no point going, oh, this fella will get us over the line. 
this fella will not get us over the line. And I think people need to wake up to that. And the journalists out there who just look at Evan on match of the day and see the clean sheets and one defeat, two defeats now in nine or whatever it is, you all need to wake up to what we see as fans. This is finished. This is over for this manager. By not making a decision, all you're doing is just adding to it, adding to the situation. It needs drawing a line under none of this oh, end of the season nonsense. It is done. Get it sorted. Get the next man lined up. But the next man has to be a proper manager who's going to take it forward. We can't keep going round in circles. We can't appoint a manager to keep us up and get players to keep us up. It, there has to be a strategy, a long-term strategy to take this football club forward with everyone involved. Otherwise, we'll keep buying dross players. We'll keep having a circle of shy for 18 months and then when everyone gets on to Evan only score from set pieces or this or that with the wins will stop it has to be a long term project and it'll hurt it'll hurt at times but you know what it's hurting now we are absolutely awful we look like the worst team in the Premier League because we have no style, no substance, and no identity. And what I hate more than anything is, I don't see anyone on that pitch who looks like, you know, without Seamus Coleman, I don't see anyone who's dying for Everton Football Club. Maybe the goalkeeper is probably the only one. But I don't see anybody else. We're 4-0 down, and I see people, you know, see people on the bench laughing. You know, I see manager going straight down the tunnel fucking dross absolute dross and it needs to be sorted and it needs to be sorted soon right that's it from me because i could be ranting and raving all night but i can't i've got to be somewhere right make sure to check out Baz's videos my player ratings and i'll see you all later